and uh, like when I started out as an illustrator, I was never allowed to be shown in a gallery in America. And with the help of many of my friends and myself, we branched into gallery shows, we've had museum shows, and we're creating products. It's a very kind of art entrepreneurship. It's also very populous. Uh, art form now, it's like an artwork for the people that because of the internet, people have access to the artist and more people can see a lot more work everywhere and anywhere. It's actually a really exciting time. It's a little bit like the wild, wild west. So there's less order, a lot more chaos, but there's a lot more choice, a lot more opportunity. And it also takes more responsibility in yourself to produce what you want to produce and to be successful at it. Does that make any sense? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Pervasive art. My definition is, as long as you stay true to your aesthetic, and have your, your artistic vision, your own artistic voice, and you have a message, or a good message hopefully, or an important message, you can use your art in anywhere. So you can blur the line between fine art, TV, film, fashion, put your art on a vinyl toy, on a skateboard, on a lamp, on a condom, on a girl's butt, anywhere, everywhere, you can create it, it's still art. In my art. Me, I have a very liberal view of what art is, I have a very conservative view on what good art is. I'm conservative. Now, um, I also like to discuss and I'll show you examples of what's happening in Los Angeles. Has anyone been to Los Angeles? Cool. Yeah. Uh, there's amazing underground art scene. Even though when you think about LA, you just think about Hollywood and um, 